Hello friends, today let's solve count of range sum problem. Given integer array numbers, we need to return the number of range sums that lie in lower, upper, inclusive. Range sum SIJ is defined as the sum of the elements in numbers between index i and j, i less or equal than j. Mm, inclusive. A naive algorithm big O n squared is trivial. You must do better than that. So actually this range sum is the subarray sum, right? Um, so let's see the example. If the given numbers is negative two, five, negative one, the lower bound is negative two and up bound is two. We can return three because there are three subarray that uh, there are some um, lying this uh, scope. So how to solve it? Let's see. As we need to have all the subarray sum uh, lying this um, scope, we can an uh, intuitive solution is to sort all the range sum. So in order to sort all the range sums, we need to uh, get uh, the range sums first. So how to get all the range sums? The naive solution is we just uh, run two for loop to get all the subarray sum because we can use this um, method to get uh, all the subarray sum. Actually, we call it a prefix sum. The sum is prefix sum. It's uh, the sum from index 0 to index i. So in order to get the index from uh, the sum of the index from i to j, we can use the sum from index 0 to j minus the sum from index 0 to i. So we can run a for loop, a two for loops to get other range sum. Because the faster sort algorithm is big O n log n. So in total, this algorithm is big O n squared. So can we just uh, use one sort algorithm and uh, calculate these range sums? Yes, we can. We can just use, we can make use of merge sort. Let's recall what is merge sort. Merge sort, we have two parts. One is merge which is linear, it combines two sorted uh, subarray into one sorted uh, larger array, you can say that. And uh, for the sort part, uh, every time it uh, run its left or right part, so uh, as we only choose one half of it, so it's uh, big O log n, and in total it's uh, the algorithm is big O n times log n. Uh, let's recall the merge sort. If this array is the original array, we get a half of it. We see the left part, and uh, still it has four elements. is not the base case, so we cut half of it. We choose the left part. Still, it has two elements, not the base case. We cut a half. Then we only have four. It's just a one element, so it is a base case. It is sorted. And then we see the right part. It only has one element. It's sorted. So we return to the previous function call. So, uh, uh, no. We merge this. Uh, yeah, we return to the previous function call, and we merge these two sorted part. So we get a sorted a larger sorted array, which is 4, 9. And for the right part, do the same thing. We merge these two sorted uh, elements, so we get uh, 7, 9. And uh, we return to the previous function code. We merge it, and uh, so on and so forth. So how do we take uh, make use of this uh, idea? Um, currently, uh, let's see this, this example. This is a given array negative 2, 5, negative 1. 
So we calculate their prefix sum first. We get a zero, negative two, and three. Uh, we, we just uh, sum up uh, negative 2 and 5, we get 3, and we sum up 3 to negative 1, so we get 2. So this is the prefix sum. So our goal is to sort this prefix sum, and uh, during this progress, we can get uh, the number of the range sums lie in the lower to upper. How do we do that? We can do something during this merge sort part. Because every time we just uh, cut it half, right? So for the original four elements array, we cut it half. We see the left part, two elements, we cut it half. So the zero, one, oh, this is the index. This is the true sum, prefix sum. So for the zero, negative two, uh, how many uh, valid uh, Range sum, just one. Uh, one thing you should notice that uh, we should uh, do, we should uh, calculate the valid range sums between. Uh, sorry, before the range. Uh, sorry, <laughs> before before merge because once we do the merge, this order is changed. So we should uh, calculate uh, the valid number of range sums before the merge function because only that the left and right groups keep the relative order. That means the left and the right keep their original order because we need to calculate the range sum, so we need to use one prefix sum minus another prefix sum to get uh, the range sum between, right? So their order matters. So, in this case, left part, right part. So this is uh, when it only have two elements. This is the right part, the same idea. And when we uh, merge these two parts, we return to its previous function code, so this four element part. The order still keeps, be because you see this is the previous prefix sum, zero, negative two. Still, they are in the left part, and uh, three, two. Although they change order, but they're still on the right part of this array. So that's what matters, okay? So we always use some prefix sum in the right part to minus uh, the prefix sum in the left to get uh, a valid, uh, a possible valid range sum. And as it has a lower bound and the upper bound, so we also keep the two index to keep the valid uh, scope. We call it uh, start index and end index. Let's uh, see the example. Uh, we use one variable called i in the left part and uh, in the right part we, we have two index, start index and begin index i equal to zero. And uh, this part is quite simple because it, it only has two elements. So start index equal to one. And the uh, y ending index equal to two because uh, we know the right part is sorted. So in order to get a valid uh, part, we need to use the prefix sum start index minus prefix sum i. If it uh, is less than the lower bound, we should move start index uh, uh, forward. If it uh, is equal or greater than the lower bound, we just uh, keep it is, what it is. And for the end index, if it's less or equal than the lower uh, upper bound, we keep it. Uh, we let it uh, move forward. So this end index is exclusive and the start index is inclusive. So in this case, we can get uh, 2 minus 1 equal to 1, which means we have one valid uh, range sum. The same idea to this part, the i equal to 2, please, uh, firstly. And the start index uh, equal to 3. And the end index equal to 2. Why? Because this 2 minus 3 equal to negative 1, which is in this scope, so we can move an index forward. 
So in the end, we use end index minus start index, we get a one. Okay, so this is a more uh, complicated part. We still loop from uh, in the left part, start from zero. And this is the right part. First, the starting index start from two. And the two minus negative two equal to four is uh, not in this scope, so we keep it. Is. And the uh, end index uh, first uh, is here, and the minus negative two also equal to two, uh, four. So we do not move it because it is already invalid. So in this part, we use end index minus start index equal to zero. So this part, we do not have valid range sum. And then we let i equal to one. The start index equal to two at first, and the two minus zero equal to two. It is valid. So we do not move it because it is greater than the lower bound. Okay, and the end index is equal to three. Three minus th zero equal to three. Uh, and um, oh, sorry, previously they had here two minus zero equal to two. Two is equal than the upper bound, so we can move it forward. And then for the three minus zero equal to three, so we keep it. So in the end, the end index minus Start index equal to one. So in the end, uh, the this whole function will return three. Okay. Um, one thing you need to notice is about uh, the value, the value of this middle. Uh, value. Normally, we will write middle equal to high minus low over two plus low. In case the integer overflow we will use high minus low divide two, right? But in in our, in this question, we will use high plus one minus low. The reason is that, uh, oh, this is zero, we always need to minus it. So we want to keep this middle as right as possible. And uh, the difference between we at uh, plus one or not plus one is when the array have the even length, even number of length. If we plus one, the middle will be, oh, sorry, this is a typo. It should be middle. Middle should equal to two. Because the high is three, three minus zero plus one divide two plus low will equal to two. But if we use this uh, formula, we will get middle equal to one. So that's the difference we should plus one, we always want to choose the right one. And this is middle, this is middle minus one, okay? So wipe up, we just make use of the merge sort and uh, we return the number of the valid range sums. This is a prefix sum and we pass the low index, high index, and this is the lower bound, upper bound. The base case, if low, greater or equal than high, we return zero. And then we get the middle value, which is the high plus one minus low divided two plus low. And uh, we accumulate this count. This is the left part, low to the middle minus one. The right part, middle to high. And uh, this is the before this merge function, we calculate it. We need a two index, start index and the end index, and it start from the middle value because it's in the right part. Only the left or right group relative order has kept, right? So we can use the minus. And this i will start from low to the middle minus one. And uh, while this start index less or equal than high, this should uh, make sure the index is valid. And uh, this uh, range sum is in the scope. It's, if it's less than lower, we know we should uh, move the starting net forward in order to get a valid uh, range sum. And for the end index, uh, if it's valid, we just move it forward until we get an uh, invalid uh, index. So in the end, uh, the then the number of the, in, uh, the valid range sum is end index minus start index. 
So we finally return the count. How about the merge function? It's just like the normal merge sort. Okay, let's write the code. We first get n equal to numbers dot length. As we need to accumulate the sum, so the sum we use a long type in case integer overflow. So n plus 1. And for int i equal to 0, i less than n i plus, oh sorry, i plus plus. The sum i plus 1 equal to sum i plus uh, numbers i. And we return merge sum merge sort the sum the zero is n because the length of the sum is n my uh, n plus one so the right valid index is n and the lower and upper okay let's write the merge sort we need the long sum and the low high that, that is lower and the upper so the base case if the low great or equal than high we just return zero and then we get the middle middle value will equal to high plus one minus low divide two plus low and there's a count will equal to merge sort sum low middle minus one then lower upper plus merge sort sum middle high lower upper okay then we get to start uh, index equal to middle and the high index equal to middle oh sorry not high it should be end so for the uh, I start from low and I less than middle I plus plus while well, we should make sure the index is valid so it's less or equal than high and there's a sum uh, and the, the sum start index minus sum I is less than lower we know it's invalid so we move the start index forward in order to get a valid range sum the end index less or equal than high and the sum high uh, sorry end index minus sum I less or equal than upper we move end index forward in order to get an invalid index so count will um, accumulate the end index minus start index okay and then we merge two parts sum low middle minus one middle and uh, high and then we return the count so now let's write the merge long sum low one high one low 2, high 2, we need a help uh, array. The size will equal to the same as the array, so it will be high 2 minus low 1 plus 1. And we need the index, which means the index in the help array, and uh, to another index, index 1 from low 1, index 2 from low 2. So while index 1 less or equal than high 1 and the index 2 less or equal than high 2 if uh, we pick the smaller to the helper because they should be sorted so if the sum index 1 is less or equal than sum index 2 we let the helper index plus plus equal to sum index 1 plus plus right else the helper index plus plus equal to sum index 2 plus plus and if there are some array left some elements left we move we assign it 
to the help array. So sum index one plus plus. While index two less than high two, helper index two plus plus equal to sum index two plus plus. In the end, do not forget to do the array copy. The source array is helper. Start index is zero. The target array is sum. The start index is low one. The length is high two minus low one plus one. Okay. Okay, thank you for watching. See you. Oh, okay, have some problem. Uh, merge. Okay, let's see what's wrong in the merge. Oh, sorry, this should be index, uh, index, index. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.